I tried to count down. My fingers were like all wrong. I was putting up like a five. Hey man, I gotta do an intro. Okay, here. go Will for it. Relax? Go for it. I'm sorry. The bottom right hand corner. The map is Crevasse. The Terran, known as the one and only, the Highborn. MVP, Nobles. He is Nobles, and there he is, coming into the second game. Looks a little disappointed. Building a supply depot. <laughs> You hear the splash of Pepsi. He didn't forget his first depot, good point. Yep. All right, over here at the top left, a member of the team, Ines Hosa. <laughs> I squeezed it out, man. You gotta speak faster, man. Don't, don't give me that look, QXC. I'm just saying, man. I'm <laughs> just saying. QXC's like, comes here for like two days, is like doing my job better than me. I'm like, <laughs> shut up, QXC. <laughs> Stealing all the spotlight and stuff. Sorry, man. I'm just, I'm such a attention grabber, attention seeker. I don't know if you saw pictures from MLG Dallas. I was in all of them. <laughs> I like literally, Rachel, um, CSN person, if you don't know her, Rachel's pretty cool. Um, she took like a bunch of pictures at the after party. I was in like every one, like 99% of the pictures I was in. One Racks Expand from Noble S. Actually, you're wrong. It's a CC first. Oh! Oh! This is actually so risky. You know what's really weird is how he built the supply depot not at his ramp to wall in. Yeah, that is a little bit weird. Like one zealot. Although, who chrono boosts out a zealot on this map? Let's yeah. be honest. That's that's something actually Optic was talking about with FXO Oz today. We were just kind of sitting in the room and and Oz is like, well, what if he six pulls you on this map? You can't. You have to go forward to the next. And Optic and they're like speaking broken Korean to each other. And Optic's like, no, Nexus gateway and he's like no forge nexus they're like having this argument and i was like what about six pool he's like nobody six pools on this map it's crevasse it was pretty funny it's kind of like that i mean this kind of strategy hinges on if he doesn't send a zealot i'm okay but if he does i just lose and there is an early zealot that he's i think he's gonna send it right there and then he's gonna chrono boost out of stalker yep uh, he did he scouted the probe came in he knows exactly yeah. what's going on he's just gonna be aggressive and here i'm actually not liking noble s's position right now and let me tell you why Destructible rocks, man. They make that ramp huge. Exactly. That's why I think they it's make a, it gigantic. It's a bad choice. That's the reason why you don't see CC first on these maps. Like even on Tall Dream Ultras, that huge ramp is a very wide open area. You don't really want to CC first there. It's the reason why you just don't see it very often. That SCP actually slows down the stalker significantly. That's actually a pretty big deal. But Noblesse not making he's a not bunker. Making a bunker. He's we... actually making a tech lab. So he's got this timed out to the point where he's like, I just I'm gonna use this first Marauder and basically what'll be three Marines to defend anything. And Tassadar does put down the Nexus. Now, the big problem here for Noble S is he doesn't have a unit on the map, and he's gonna have a very hard time figuring out what Tassadar's doing. Exactly, and here comes the Stalker and the Zealot now. A second Stalker rallied behind this. There's some SCVs coming out here. I'm not really sure why. I think he should just let the Stalker and Zealot attack the barracks. It's not like the barracks is gonna die. It's got a thousand hit points. Yeah. Interestingly enough, Tassar took the outside expansion, so it's relatively difficult to defend that. And yeah. also the backdoor expansion has a rich geyser. But I like his choice because it's better in the long run. There's more mineral patches there. You can mine more efficiently overall. He's actually adding gates here. I think he's going to try to do a timing attack off two bases with four or five gates. And now the big... I kind of alluded to this earlier, like a storyteller who's prefacing the story, talking about the weather and how it was stormy, and you're like, could something bad happen? This is a stormy game, Wolf. It is. And Tass or bleh, Noble S doesn't know that Tassadar is fast expanding. If Noble S knew that, he could freely push out across what the map. What is going on? <laughs> you cannot. You have to babysit your stalkers so they can't shoot rocks by themselves. <laughs> Tassadar really needs to invest in a nanny for the stalkers. Uh, <laughs> stalker daycare. Yeah, that was scary, man. He's lucky he didn't have concussive shells. That yep. would have been nice. He would have out. He would have cleaned up those units. And oh, builds the bunker just in time. Actually, that's a um, really good position on that bunker as well. It's gonna be very hard to actually break that. That's like way too many SCPs. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, it's a stormy night, Wolf. He doesn't know that Tassadar is expanded. He thinks this could be a four gate. That's true. And the, so the uh, SCP was killed by that stalker, like I was talking about earlier. This should be enough to hold, but he's losing a lot yeah. of mining time here. He's losing SCB. It's nice micro by Tassar. He doesn't overcommit. He's just going to pick away at the barracks. And if that barracks dies, well, that's concussive shell. It, the barracks shouldn't die. He'll be able to lift it away. I think he's going to wait for the Marauder to finish and then probably get out. But just the losses here. 
Nobles is just not responding to this very well. He's not. I mean, a lot of those Mirage on low hit points. He's losing more and more SCVs. Great micro by Tassadar. Yep, Tassadar is controlling quite well. He's just targeting down the Mirage, ignoring the SCVs for the most part. I don't really like that decision there. He lost a couple of Stalkers there from not much in return, but I think at this point it's... It's almost just over, man. Yeah, I mean... The supply deficit, it's almost... Tassadar almost has twice the supply. He's just crushing through. Not oh, being concussive oh. shell just finished here. He's going to clean up a couple of those stalkers. But Tassadar, can we look at income? Yeah. Okay, and this tells a story. 19 to 34, man. 14 SCVs went down the drain. They got flushed away in the toilet of life. They are no longer among the living. And he's going to try to... Oh, he doesn't repair the barracks! And the barracks joins the SCVs in the underworld. This is no longer just like, oh, this pressure's doing a lot of damage. This is like... Now Noblesse is like, I might actually just die. I have to make a second bunker. I'm delaying some stuff he is. Starting another barracks instead of starting a starport, just knowing he needs that barracks to hold yeah. on here. And like you were saying earlier, he has no idea what's going on. He yeah. just has no clue. And I actually don't like this decision by Tassadar to pull back. I think he has to take a third like now, basically. Tassadar? Yeah. Why? If he doesn't take a third now and he lets his opponent get up to Medivacs, and he's just kind of like chilling out. He's not really teching. He either needs a tech up. He's getting that Twilight Council, getting the Forge. He either has to do one of those two things. He can't just pull back and not take a third. But he's getting that Twilight Council and a Forge. I what? agree that if he pulls back and does nothing, he will probably that's lose. That's true. That's I mean, I, that's not exactly what I was trying to say, QXC, <laughs> but that's, that's, a kinda, good point. that's kind of what it sounded like. Like if he just pulls back and sits at his natural and then starts fist pumping, I think he might lose the game. Like, well, actually, Wolf, I. I actually agree with you there. <laughs> Alright, so plus one armor. <laughs> QXC laughter along oh, with Oh no, Noblesse just lifted his command center. Oh man. How did that happen? Uh, oh, he wanted to switch the reactor on the those and he just accidentally has command center. It's like he was spamming his APM too high. <laughs> and this SCB wanted to kill a probe. He made the wrong choice today. He was punished. Nobles' army is pretty small compared to Tassadar's. Um, but it's... I don't know, I, I kind of expected the supply difference to be a little bigger. I agree with that, and actually he's supply blocked. Nobles is choking bad, he's got... Yeah. I mean, he actually just dropped his second supply drop. I, mean, I know he lost the depot earlier, but it's starting to look really bad. Well, this is actually going to supply block Tassadar. I think kind of what we're seeing here is... Uh, more exaggerated of what probably happened in the first game is Nobles's macro is just not staying solid and consistent for whatever reason. I'm sure he's better than what we're seeing today, but today he's getting supply stuck, he's not really microing as well as he could have, and it's all stacking up so when the big timing attack comes it's very hard for him to really defend it. Yeah, Tastar surprisingly didn't take that third base. It's like a free third base to take on this map, so I'm kind of surprised by that choice, but he just made a large army. Yep. And he's, he's just going to go for an attack here. He's doing the same build. The Templar Archives just finished. We're going to see High Templar morphing into Archons, and he's probably just going to go for it, maybe. Well, he's got plus two on the way. I think, again, like we talked about last game, we thought he was going to attack with plus one. Now he's just playing it safe, I think. And this is actually a really good way to lose a game. It is. Is to play so safe that your opponent suddenly Catches gets... Up. Yeah, they get opportunities to come back in. Ooh, nice feedback. Yep. Um, and that's actually a really good way to stop drops. Uh, does morph the Archon in time, but he needs to get out of there. He can't afford to lose these Medivacs. Yeah, he may actually lose the Medivacs, and if he loses yep. the Medivacs, he'll lose the units inside. This is... That drop actually would have been quite good if he had killed the High Templar, the Archons, the Pylon, and gotten out. Um, but losing the Medivac in units, it's too much. I mean, he's already 30 supply down at this point. If you look at just the mill, I mean, Noblesse is supply blocked again. He's yeah. got two depots in production, he's got his Ghost Academy in the way, he's making another command center. And there's a big attack going on in the middle here. Um, yeah, it's 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 not even a big attack. It's just Noblesse running for his life against the <laughs> superior army of Tassar. Tassar is like a bear, and Noblesse is running away. He's got peanut butter in his hand, <laughs> and Tassar is just hungry for it. You can see his mouth frothing, and he's all like pouncing over bushes and trees and stuff, and like slashing through caves. He's like throwing out force fields to try to trap him. 
so that's that like he a can... bear. That's a bear that has force field energy. <laughs> That'd be so scary. What if you went camping in the force field bear forest, <laughs> and you were like in your tent, and you were like, "Oh, good thing it has two escape points." But then the force field bear comes, and it's like now you only have one escape point, and then it walks inside, and it's like now you have zero, <laughs> and then it eats you in your peanut butter, and you're like, "What?" And like the army comes and tries to take out the bear, but it pops up a guardian shield and blocks all the bullets away. <laughs> And you're like, oh my god, my gun is useless because you haven't upgraded plus one weapons yet. Instead, you just got this big shield that sits outside your tent, but it doesn't really do anything because the bear just walked around it. That's pretty much what's happening. Um, no Blast preparing to do more drops here, which yep. is something you kind of have to do when you're behind like this, but in this scenario, if he does a drop at the wrong time, he's just not even yeah. going to have hardly enough units He's going to gonna just lose. Um, and basically, what he needs to do to make this drop work is he needs to hold one of the watchtowers so he can see where the army is. A drop right now could actually win him the game if he doesn't die to the attack. The problem is he's probably going to die to the attack. Yeah, I think he is. He's got a wall off again with these depots. But when that is not a wall. Oh, he does see the army. So this is actually really good. You can see there's two medevacs moving across the map. Look at Tassadar. He's so ready. He's all like, I got two photon cannons and high Templar. What's up? And oh, nope. he didn't target down the medevac. <laughs> <laughs> so some units do get out, but tassadar has got like 80 gateway things. He's got like warp gate bears. That medevac actually only had one <laughs> warp gate bear. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here comes the army of tassadar This army doesn't need a babysitter. This army can just, this is fist pumping time. I would like to see tassadar actually begin the fist pumping. Um, he no probably is. I'm looking back at this booth. No, he's not doing it yet. He's not fist pumping yet. I expect to see that soon, though. Tassadar with a 178 army, 178 supply army to just 122 of Noblesse. Noblesse Ooh, is Noblesse commander. doing a little bit of a drop on the left side of the map. Hopefully, we'll get a shot of that. He may, yeah, he caused oh, he does the Nexus to be canceled. Caused the Nexus cancel. That's very nice. Uh, the medevac is going to get feedback. I'm really liking this style from Tassadar. Um, he basically just uses High Templar to say, you can't drop me. You yeah. can't have energy on your medevacs. I like that. See you. And then he just throws all his money into Zealots and Archons. And, and he gets great upgrades. He's already got plus yeah. three armor on the way. He's got plus one attack. No bless is just 1-1. One, one. He's uh, adding more gateways here. I think he may just end the oh, game. Oh. No bless picked the wrong time to move that command center down. The force field bear is going to block that army out. He's not even going to be able to go home. <laughs> And then the Warp Gate Bear is going to reinforce the army and end the game right here. And look at how small Noblesse's army is. Yeah, it's just... It's, it's not just, even fair. It's tiny. It's like Noblesse is a little mole, and Tassadar is the Warp Gate Bear, who also has force fields, but decides not to use them because he's like, I don't even need force fields. I'll just eat your tent. And, and Noblesse is like a little mole. He's like, and, and the funny thing about this is in situations like this when the Pros army is just so much better, the Zealots are just, GG. GG. The Zealots are just like attacking the army, and Tassar is like microing his life off, and <laughs> oh, not quite a fist pump. And it was a sub sun. Close enough. It was a sub sun followed by the hair scratch. <laughs> He looks like, really happy. What's up? Let me scratch. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's the I'm hair scratch of the cheek right there. Did you see that? I didn't. Oh, no. Oh, bless yes. he scratched his hair. I know the hair scratch of defeat. I've done that. I, was, I also know the the breaking the wall of defeat. Yeah, there's that. There's also the the face on the keyboard of defeat. Yes. There's the hands over the back of the neck of defeat. There are a lot of defeat poses we've seen. There's the crying Marine King defeat. I haven't seen that one. That's really sad. I don't really want to talk if about that. Talk, if you're hanging out with your girlfriend, maybe you should like it. You should show her. It's a good what? story. You should also show her the Marine King documentary. It's I really don't... You don't what? know about these things? I know. There's That's actually weird. a Marine King documentary. It's on GOMTV.net. All right. I wouldn't lie to you, QXC. Cool. Um, <laughs> wait, why is Tassadar being invited I think to he, this game? I think it was... I actually just don't know. All right, well... Well, Tassar's something's like, happening over there. Tassar's like, actually, I cheated, so we're going to play again. <laughs> <laughs> that build I did was unfair. <laughs> I had so many bears, and you were just a little mole. Um, anyways. He didn't set up any mole traps. Yeah, I don't have... Oh, good. Nice. <laughs> and they found him dead. No, that doesn't make any sense. Anyways. Um, yeah, I think maybe he should have played dead because moles like to do that. Yeah, well, I was going to make a Doa joke by using dead or alive because, like, DOA. Ah. But then I realized that what I was saying only involved the word dead. 
and didn't make any yeah, sense. Because there, there were no units left alive, man. No, there were <laughs> all of Noble S's units perished. They all joined the barracks and the SCVs in the underworld with the Grim Reaper. <laughs> with the Grim Reaper, yep. the so, Starcraft Reaper. Um, coming up soon. I'm not. It's, it's Bonbons versus Puzzle. Yep. It's going to be a PvP. And then after that, we do have Happy versus ASD, which is a. It's TV a TVT. TVT. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Happy on IM, ASD on Foyu. Yeah. So it should be a good match, actually. That was the match I was looking forward to most today, because I think both of those guys are pretty equal skill yeah, level. Yeah, TVT, pretty... A lot of people don't like it, but to those people I say, <gasps> you're wrong. TVT, very good matchup, very exciting to watch. It uh, has so many intricacies. There's all these... It, the, the thing about TVT to me is it's always like about trying to do the safest thing that's still aggressive, because there's so <laughs> many different openers... I, I know that's like extremely vague. No, no, no. no. I'm going to say something. Keep going. Keep going. And okay. Well, say something. it's just that there's so many different openers like Banshees and Blue Flame Helens. You always have to take that into account. But you know, you want to get ahead somehow, and there's all these different things you can do. But it's but it's like everything has a counter. Everything is like you know, there's a way to stop it. What? Yeah. Just, just say it. Can you see, just, okay. Okay. Just say it. Just humiliate me. Oh. Just pulled my mic out. <laughs> uh. Hold I pulled on my sec. mic out. Wolf, just talk. Wolf got really excited. Um. <laughs> And he actually just broke everything. I didn't break anything, he's, man. He's crying right now. <laughs> there are tears streaming down his face. He's <laughs> so upset that he broke... He actually broke on TV. Um, the stream has exploded. I don't even know if there's sound anymore. It, did you fix it? No, it's not It's not working, What man. did you do? I don't know. I don't know if they can hear us either. We can, we can like, pantomime. Because I can't hear myself. Oh, you can't hear yourself? No. Did I, like, turn the amp off? I don't know. Do you want to try and fix that? I'm trying, man. The The producer's probably like, what's going on? And everyone's watching us like... <laughs> oh, okay, well, they okay, can hear so us. We just have we, we have audio issues. Yeah. You guys can still hear us. Apparently everything's good. I think I, I like kicked the, the little box we've got right, underneath but us. Anyways, that, like, what I was going to say to you before you broke everything was there's two styles in TVT. There's the most aggressive while playing safe and the I don't care what you do I'm just gonna do this anyway where it's like if I went Banshees that game I would've won but uh and we're gonna go to a five minute break yeah we're gonna take a little quick five minute break we'll work out our issues and uh see you guys Um, then in a little bit